What do you do? What do you do? Oh, hello there. I'm Garrison, and you're not. And this is my iPod vlog number 96. And today, we're going to talk about different things. <gasps> it's a fascinating digital world, and I'm glad you're in it with me. Yes, a fascinating digital world, and I'm glad you're in it with me. Today, my sister's home. She's got a day off today for some reason. She's outside with her doggy. I don't know if she'll come in. If she does, then I'll have to make this short. Because I don't want anybody else my vlog. Except me. Ha ha ha. Anyways, today's subject is epilepsy. I used to have, ep I used to have epilepsy. I used to have petty mal seizures, which is like when you stare in space and you black out a little bit and, and you wake up a few seconds later. Yeah. As opposed to petty mal. Uh, I mean, as opposed to grand mal seizures where you, where you shake and... and whatever and you fall down and you start shaking that's grandma seizures and grandma not grandma and petit mal means small it's all in French I don't know why it's just t minor seizures where you don't usually shake or anything but you lose your sight and your hearing and touch and everything and you just black out basically it's like dizzy spells but uh, you go unconscious and you don't remember anything for you know for a couple of seconds you're gone yeah. Usually there's a sound to it, like, and then uh, as it goes black, and you usually get weakened leg, weakened knees or whatever beforehand, so you have a warning to sit down or something. Sometimes there's no warning, though. One time I was standing there, and I, was, uh, I grabbed into the refrigerator, I thought I was holding myself up. Next thing you know, I was sitting on the floor, but I haven't had seizures since I was 23, which is good. It's years ago. I had them since from 12 to 23. Uh, probably due to a heat stroke I had when I was the day before I was 12 uh, in August 11th the day before my birthday I was at the strawberry festival in Stillwell and I, I was in the heat and I didn't drink any water and I passed out and that was the first time I had a seizure and then after that I started having seizures on a regular basis once every couple of weeks and then once a week and then once every couple of days and, and then it was almost every day it was just a few seconds you know but it was annoying, and I'm glad I'm over that. And that's all I was going to talk about today. Yeah, that's a short vlog. And today we have Lucy's in here, and little, and little man, 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 is laying there on a cushion over there. And Lucy's running around in the backyard, I guess, while my sister's out there with Bella and Ringo, her son, Bella's son, and, and little man's son. She's playing with two dogs, because uh, Bella wants to go out there and play with her son, because little man doesn't get along with his son for some reason they want to fight all the males want to fight so we bring the little one in Lucy so Lucy won't fight with Bella because they sometimes fight because Lucy wants to be dominant because she's a terrier mix you know beagle and terrier and she wants to dominate everybody by trying to hump on everybody even though she's female I don't understand that but anyways it's some kind of, <laughs> some kind of weird dog stuff but anyways that's the what Epilepsy is all about epilepsy. Yeah, I used to take Dilantin for it. It was the best medicine. I used to take all kinds of that medicine before that. It was experimental, but none of it seemed to work except for Dilantin. And then I quit Dilantin and I stopped having seizures. And then I, I noticed that I had less and less, so I just stopped taking the medicine, and then nothing happened. And years later, here I am. No seizures. The, the doctor pronounced me seizure-free. Yay! My asthma is better, or the asthma I have is better. All right, and no seizures, and the only thing I have now is mitral valve prolaps that I can take care of later on. Because this is spell sometimes I overexert myself. Anyways, my brother Phil just left for work a little early. It's 1:55 p.m., and the date today is April 5th. 2016 and yesterday I for, on, on vlogs number 94 and 95 I forgot to say Monday Madness because I was talking about heart conditions on 94 and also the world party day and on 95 I was talking about love so check out those vlogs and on this one it's about epilepsy and also Tuesday dizzy spells if you have dizzy spells and stuff like that take a break don't do anything just you know drink some water make sure you have plenty of fluids, and if you have a heat stroke, go to the doctor right away. Yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm Garrison, and you're not. And this is a fascinating digital world. And right now I'm watching some weird show on TV about, it's called, uh, 
mankind, story of us all on the History Channel. Yes, yeah, talk about exploring the world and how England took over the world. And, well, they ruled most of the world at the time. British Empire, whatever. Yay. And today's a boring day. Oh, yeah. And we went to my brothers, Philip and Mark and myself. We went to the Bueno place that has tacos. And we had a soft taco, a burrito that was bean burrito, soft taco that was beef burrito, and a, and a hard taco that was beef burrito. Beef. I mean, okay. The soft taco was beef, and the hard taco was beef. And then there was a bean burrito. And a, I saved the bean burrito for later. And I was going to eat bean and cheese, whatever. That's what we had. So it's... It was the number one on the, on the menu. You get a soda with it too, a small soda, which I got Sprite or Sea Mist or whatever it was. And I already drank that. Yeah, I'm bored. Yep. This is what I do on a boring day. But anyways, epilepsy wasn't very good. See, I had to stay home a lot because I couldn't concentrate. And in school, I kept, you know, looking at things. And I didn't want people to think I was just staring at them or, or falling down a lot. So I had a tutor for a while. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Anyways, I got so sick that I, I quit school when I was 16, but eventually got my diploma through the mail. Yeah, I th took the homeschool thing through the mail. Uh, you know, they fill out the things and send it to the people, and then they send you back the, your grades and whatnot. Yeah, and if you want to talk to someone, you talk to the teacher on the phone or, or through the interweb. Eee! Back then it was mm -mm -mm, dial up. <laughs> yep. Anyways, later on, I'll eat my usual banana or peanuts or raisins or seeds or whatever I'm going to eat. Yeah. Instead of what I want to eat, which is a huge candy bar. I'm trying to watch my diet. And anyways, I'm done with that. I've been... I'm still Garrison. And you're still not. And this has been a fascinating digital world. And I don't know why I'm turning red. I guess it's because of all this pollen in the air. Allergies, I hate you so much. Why don't you go away? It's so weird. It looks like I put my makeup on. This is how you put your makeup on. First, you put pollen all over your face, and then you get an allergic reaction, and then you try to wipe it off, and then you make it worse. Okay, that's it. <laughs> end of the vlog. End of the vlog. I'm sorry this vlog was so weird and uh, not scripted, because I don't script anything, and I don't edit it, so hey, deal with it. Bye. End of the vlog.